Hey guys, welcome again to Sean Linton YouTube channel. Hey guys, you alright? Hey. Um, today I just want to talk about miseducation. The miseducation. The miseducation support. I just want, this can be used in a very philosophical manner. You know, miseducation. The misuse, the miseducation. Now, um, what happened if everything that you have learned is unlearned and it was not learned because it was learned and it was relearned because it was never learned and it was learned because it was unlearned, relearned, correlated? What happened about that? Now, I've just talked about a whole lot of rubbish, isn't it? But you see, this is why philosophy comes in because we have, we are in a very technological and um, not only twisted philosophical age, but more so technological. Okay, let me let me slow down to 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 explain this. Um, the media we have got a whole lot of media. Um, they like we've got the soaps and we've got the magazines and we've got these things and and we've got politics and we understand that um, people need to sell. Magazine need 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 to sell. The papers need to sell. The news need to sell. We got we we are into an age whereby people need to function and we need to that's never a problem because it was always been like that remember since i was a child was, the first time i was ever on tv i was on tv from a very young child i understood that to everybody that as a child we understood that on that level but what i had when i was young i had a whole lot of people who was that like nasty who was not, um, who was, they were kind, they were ambassadors, they were, um, um, they were, and they, 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 not entrepreneur, but they were humanitarian, they were empowerment um, people of, 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 of encouragement and mentors, even before you understood the word mentor, they were mentor, you know, and these, that is a difference that they were, we had more people that were supporting the community, more people that were supporting education and youth and culture from a very young age. And this is what we, that is where the gap comes in. So if we understand what is miseducation, is that we need to structure your, you need to, I mean, people believe that being a good parent is walking your child to school, is, is taking your children, is, is looking at, no, but it's also taking care of their sociological, psychological, and individual um, aspect to their mental fac faculty to be able to facilitate that, to understand that, you, you see? And this is the reason why we have what we have now, because there's a miss education, there's a miss interpretation, there's a miss philosophical um, um, this whether you want to call it advantage or disadvantage that people think what they know. There's a whole lot of people that thought the world was um, was round and and if you and, and, and if you round you're going to go over it. But there's a man that was called Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus went to in a time the queen at the time of he, he was Spanish, and the queen at the time um, she was very young. Her name was Queen Isabella of Spain. He went to her. She did not. I mean, she was. She was. She had an advisor. They did not invest a lot, but but he had an urge to prove to the world that the world to prove to everybody that the world was not round. You not. You can sail and come back around. You won't drop off the face of the world and drop into the mist. Or the abyss, the abyss. You won't, you won't. And he did that. He paid a price. Because if you read, I won't tell you, but if you read history and you understood his last voyage, you understand what Queen Isabella and the council did to him in Spain. But he paid a price for that. So when you read history and you understood, I mean, people would say, um, um, uh, Margaret Touch. Margaret Thatcher would never become prime minister. I don't care what you think about her, but she was just a local, ordinary woman, like any other white woman, any other Caucasian woman in this country. But she dared to become a prime minister, and that she did. 
So the people talking about her, what have you done? That's her record. That's what she has got to prove. That's what's on her belt. Now people say about our reigning queen's father. He could never be king. Look at him. He's a, but he was king. And he was a very good king. Fathered two beautiful, good-hearted daughters. The, re, the remain Queen Elizabeth. You, you see, 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 miseducation, misconcept is when we are waking philosophy. We have got to wake in what we think. We have got social media. Yes? A lot of people, I mean, I model for a while. A lot of people have got a whole lot of negative remarks to say that, okay, I was prostituting. I was stressed. I was uh, nothing good because it was in them. Because of what they are on Facebook for, they judge me of the same thing that they are on it for. But I'm letting you know this. Don't let what people said. That's the minority. That's just the minority. Don't stop. Always find another avenue. Because people who are negative. Negative people. People who have got no good to see. All they see is junk and garbage and rubbish. They will always have got that to give. Because what you see is what you give. What you give is what you see. You can't do more than that. I say to you that, do, that, that if you don't judge what you don't know, don't touch what you don't know. There is a box that is called a Pandora's box. And the Pandora's box is a box that they said that you dare not touch. Because if you touch that box, you will unleash different things in the world. Now, people, I, I say people would talk about Lady Gaga, and I use her for an example, because she's young and she's relevant. Still, oh, look at her, whatever. But Lady Gaga knew what she was doing. I was right here at, when I saw her, and I saw the first song she came out with. And I look and I said, whoever this is, I'm going to watch you because you are going to do great things. I knew it. I knew it. I was in a Europe where a second track came out, Poker Face. And I said, wow. Not really, not so much commenting on, 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 on the track, but her as an individual. To see how she has not only progressed, but what she dared to do. And she kept moving, moving, moving. She knew exactly what she was doing. Now I'm saying to, the, to you, ask yourself the question, am I miseducated? Is my education correct? What I believe, is it really what I should believe? Or what is right? Question yourself. Ask yourself the question with intensity, with aggression. Ask yourself that question. Am I really believing the right thing? This is just Sean Linton. Call me crazy. I've heard that before. Call me mad. I've heard that before. Call me whatever. I might, uh, I might have heard that before and I really don't care. What I care about is asking you the question on this show. What do you believe? I say good, but I say good night. On the Sean Linton Miseducation Report. Peace out.